guys welcome back to Ziki's world my name is Ngozi I am a Nigerian American food family and lifestyle blogger thank you guys so much for stopping by how are you doing today I hope you're having a fabulous day I want to specially thank all my old subscribers for returning back all the time to watch our video and to our new subscribers thank you guys so much for joining us and if you're new to our channel thank you so much and I want you to subscribe to be a part of our family click on that bell over there to get instant notification whenever I upload a new video how are you guys doing I hope you guys are having a very wonderful day so guys in today's video i am going to do an unboxing with you guys like i got a package from nigeria i got a package from nigeria my family surprised me with a package so they brought the package in our house i was not around so they took it back to the post office so for me to claim the package i have to go there with my you know id card and do some signing for me to take the package and the package is right here by my right side <laughs> i want to do this unboxing with you guys you know this package means a lot to me because it came from family like it fly thousand miles like hours to get to me it means a lot to me so guys i want you to unbox this with me i want to see what is inside this box like i don't know if i'm gonna be emotional but i want you guys to see what is inside this box so me i am super excited so if you want to know what is inside this big box guys keep watching to go get anywhere and if you like our video subscribe and be a part of the family and also give me a thumbs up it helps our video to go up 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 so guys without wasting much of your time let's start doing this because i have to go and pick up my son in the next one hour so i want to be sure that i'm done so that i can go and pick up my son so guys let's do this unboxing together follow me follow me let's do it together <laughs> so guys this is the box i want us to start unboxing it let's see what is inside as you can see it is still sealed There's a lot of things inside this box, guys. There's a whole lot of things, but uh, what? yes, yes, let's bring it out. Let's bring yes. it out. Yes. One, don't. Yes. So it is well wrapped, like guys, as you can see, this is wrapped with a uh, brown solute in Nigeria. My mom wrapped everything, and uh, thanks to my like my elder brothers, I know that they are the ones that did this. They wrap it like you wouldn't even you can't even say exactly what is inside until you open it. The things that I got from this box, and uh, and I have I have something written inside. I will walk. I will open it. You have more space. These are all the things. So let's start opening it and see what is inside. So this one is Otazi. We use this one to prepare the um we use it to prepare vegetable. No, we use it to prepare a um, gin miracle. And this one is this one is a bitali. And I'm going to be pouring it inside the ziplock. Zip it's a dried bitter leaf. So I'm going to be bringing out all the things that is here. I'm using this ziplock to pour it. So guys, this is the bitter leaf. This one is Uziza. We we'll use this one for. You guys know what it is. You guys know what we we'll use Uziza for. So. I don't need to wash all these things. If I want to use it, I'll wash it because they are already dry. They are already dry. So it's already dry. This is uh Utaz um, Guys, this is crayfish. This is crayfish. <laughs> this one is dry fish. This one is dry fish. This one is a uh, Uziza. And this one is crazy. So guys, I am going to unbox all of them 
and you know like i showed you guys i use ziploc to add it one after the other and i'll see you guys okay Let me come closer. It's very far. Let me come closer. Oh, this light, respect yourself, guys. I know this light is not clear, but this is Sia Spice from Nigeria, like from the real Aboki that makes Sia. My brother, I know that my brother will do this. Thank you so much, brother, for getting the Sia Spices for me. It's really expensive getting Sia Spices over here. And it's not, not even expensive, but you know that one that is prepared by a bookie. Yes, we can eat it. We use it to make suya. Guys, did you see how well the package is? They added foam. They added foam inside this. And then uh, put all this. And this is stuffy. So uh, it has a lot of, uh, you know, all these small, small bugs. All this uh, incense, what is it called? That love uh, stock fish. He has it inside here. So I'm going to I'm going to wash it. Yes, I'm going to wash it and put it in my freezer. So I'll put it in the sink. I'll put it in the sink and continue the unboxing. Hey, one more box to open. Yeah, one more box to open. One. This one is oha. It's dried oha. You know, some of all these vegetables they cannot come in fresh. They cannot come in fresh. So my mom has to dry all of them, especially um bitali, uh uziza otazi. In town, which is sent me, so she has to dry all of them. Guys, I'll be I'll be coming your way with different kinds of Nigerian soup. Like this one is not made in America. This one is made in Nigeria. Hey, Ogu, eh, Ogu is with me right here. Ogu is right here. This is Okazi. Okazi. I'll be making vegetable soup with this. So guys, I just want to bring this closer so that you see what I'm doing. So now this is the crayfish. I'm going to be opening it and pour it inside this ziplock. They wrap it with newspaper, with this newspaper. After that, they wrap it in this one. And uh, two, like they really took time to wrap this. They really took time to wrap this, this one and this. This is the crayfish he sent to me. I don't know what to say. I think this is Ogiri. Ogiri. I think so. This is Ogiri. This is so horrible. <laughs> Did you see how they see it? Like, I, I can't even guess what is inside. I just feel it because I, I feel like it's, a, it, it's not smelling because of the way they package it. Did you see? You see all the things they use to package it so that it doesn't smell. And guys, this has been on the road for how many months? For over three weeks. Yeah, away from Nigeria, guys. I could, that is it smells <laughs> everywhere. It's just smelling. I see if I pop, I pop the thing around the house, guys. Or to have that um, delicious flavor of uh, original bitter leaf and oha soup, you need this. And this is my review. So I'm going to put it in the freezer immediately. So guys, this is the stock fish. I'm just going to wash it. And I'm now showing you guys the insect that I'm talking about. I don't know the English name, but this insect, you usually find it inside the stock fish. So as you can see, those black insects that came out from this uh, stock fish. So I was able to open the stock fish. I run 
hot water through the stockfish and make sure that all the dead insects inside the stockfish will be able to come out. And all those things that you're seeing there, you don't want it to go inside your pot of soup. You don't want it to go inside your pot of soup. So make sure that you wash the stockfish very, very well, especially the ones that have this insect inside of it. And then after that, you're going to put it in a Ziploc and put it back um, in your freezer. So see all those black insects that came from the stockfish. All those ones inside the water floating it from stockfish. So guys, this is uh, Ogo. I already wrote the name Ogo. This is uh, Otazi. You can use this to prepare your pepe soup, Jimmy Rauko or any um, Oba Otazi. You see a whole lot of Otazi. And this is my uh, bitter leaf. I already wrote the name bitter leaf. So make sure that you wrote the name on all of them. This one is Oha. I'm going to write the name. Mm, this is my uh, Oziza, Oziza leaf. This is Oziza leaf. You can use this for your goosey. You can use it for your Obono. And you can use it for your Isala. So this is my... Uh, Obono. This is the Obono. This is uh, my cayenne pepper. Guys, as you can see, this is a uh, suya spice. Suya spice, guys. <laughs> suya, Nigerian suya is loading. So, this is my Oroziza, um, which is Oziza seed. Already blended. And, uh, this is my Ehure. I'm going to write name and put on it. This is a uh, Ncham. This is a uh, Egusi. Guys, this is the crayfish. I don't even need to write the name of the crayfish. So. This is the the dry fish as a mangala. I'm going to wash it and put it in the fridge. Uh, this is a no cube. And finally, this is a as you can see, ogiri obey spice. Like they got it like this from Nigeria. Exactly like this. They got it like this. There's a particular woman that prepare it for exportation. So this one you don't need a too much packaging like this guys did you see all the stockfish did you see all the stockfish guys this is all the stockfish my mom sent to me so yes these are all the things that i got from my mom from nigeria so guys i am done unboxing this and i washed everything everything is ready to go to the fridge yeah so i'm i have like five minutes to go and pick up my son from school yes i finished in one hour uh -huh. so there's a letter there's a letter in this i want to read it for you guys a letter my okay yeah a letter that my mom wrote in here and uh, it says i'm going to read it right now guys it says There's a name my mom usually called me, and that is the name that is written in this uh, letter. It says, I don't want to be emotional about this, but you know, the feeling you have when you have something like this from somebody that you love, and you know, the person is wishing you well, and the person is always uh, looking after for you, and uh, and uh, praying for you is is something to be to be happy and be grateful to God for. And he says he says, guys, I don't want to cry, but uh, I'm just emotional about this. He says, Ngozi Kamuam. That's my mom. That's the name she usually called me. He says, I just want you to know that I love you and. And I will always pray for you. Wherever you are today, always remember God and serve Him only. My regards to your family. That's my mom's name. And uh, 
Yeah, we usually call her Izzy. May that's the name everyone in our family call her because of the way she is so generous and uh, friendly with a lot of people. They just look at that name and. Uh, I don't know what to say. I feel so happy. I feel so excited seeing this letter from my mom. And I believe that, uh, yeah, one day I will get to see her. I, I used to talk to her all the time on the phone. And we do WhatsApp and we do, um, and we do all of that. But uh, there is nothing like, you know, seeing your mom, you know, hugging her, you know, spending the quality time with her. So I am. Um, uh i pray for a day that will come i will you know get to see her get to talk with her you know get to hug her and say a lot of a lot of nice things and appreciate her for all the things that she has done so this is the letter she had inside the box and also these are the things that she gave me you know i feel like i am with my mom right now seeing all these things that she has given to me so guys thank you so much for doing this unboxing with me i am super super happy and grateful to god for the life of my mom and my family my brothers and my sisters i am so happy that all these things that she sent it to me all the way from nigeria you know for me to understand that she's still there with me and the the the, the, the part that got me in this letter it says wherever you are today and always remember god and serve him only and i promise you i've been serving god with everything the upbringing that my mom gave to me and I'm still teaching my children so this is one of the things that motivate me to start involving my children in the word of God and teach them the right way because my mom taught me when I was little so thank you guys so much this video is not to make you cry but this video is just to pour out my heart the way I feel about these things that my mom said to me all the way from Nigeria so thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you like this video give me a thumbs up have any of your family members send you things um, um, wherever you are if you're living in diaspora if yes let me know in the comment section how do you feel about it were you so excited about those things and how often you know do they send things to you so let me know in the comment section if you like this video please give me a thumbs up always talk to your mom always talk to your family always appreciate them always love on them especially if you live in diaspora that um you don't see them you talk to them which is also good but also call them tell them how much you love them appreciate all the good times you have or you spend with them when you're in nigeria talk to them you know show them love you know and appreciate them and uh, yeah that's the end of this video i want to go and pick up my son so thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and the subscribe if you have not to be a part of our family so guys thank you so much and i will see you in my next video have a beautiful day Bye.